tell a three-year-old that her daddy would not be back is not easy. And then trying to explain that somebody just blew him away is not easy. He shot them in the head. They were leaving the motel. They had gone on vacation. And as they were leaving, this man forced them back into the room, had them lay down, and shot him in the back of the head. The one thing that was not presented as evidence was after he murdered my, my mother, he masturbated and left this semen in a tissue next to her. But this was not introduced as evidence as part of his personality because it's not a crime to masturbate. And we buried Debbie in a pink child's casket. He started unbuttoning my pants and started to pull my jeans off. And, and what I, did you do? What did I do? Closed my legs and rolled over. What happened then? He rolled me back onto the mat, my back. He took his fist and had punched me in the forehead because I wouldn't take my jeans off as he requested. He told me, take your panties off, you bitch. That's literally what he said. What happened then? It would be hard for any father. After all, it's my daughter that I'm looking for. The kid that I cared about. The kid that I, the kid that I loved. My last born, my baby. We looked for Debbie for six years. Oh. Yeah. When they found her, um, I just thank God they found her. I, I sat down at the funeral home for three hours. He had a knife at my throat and he kept saying, get naked. I kept begging him just to leave me alone. Did he leave you alone? No. Forced his penis in my mouth. And we found out she had been defecated on, that it was smeared all over her body and put in her mouth. The children have to live with this for the rest of their lives. It will never be known whether or not the children were actually molested or whether they were led to believe they were molested. The parents have to live with this. And there's nothing that I can say or anyone else can say to make them feel better. From when I was little and he was a pervert and shit. When every time I remember that, every time I remember what he did to me, what he took advantage of me and shit. I didn't when know I didn't know what he was me. doing, I didn't know it until you started asking me. But you wouldn't tell me that. I told you that he did. When he asked me if he did a certain thing, I said, yeah. And then when he went and told him, ever since then, he's hated me. Yeah, but he didn't do it anymore. So, I still hate him for doing it to begin with. No child should, as happened to my child, have a judge deem their risk of rape to be 50% and to have unsupervised visits increased 400%. That should not be allowed. If there's a risk of abuse, the child must be protected until it is known that the child will be safe. In my case, we are drowning in evidence. You almost never in an abuse case have what we have, which is an articulate child giving a consistent story to expert after expert, incest experts confirming the abuse as among the worst they have ever seen, an eyewitness account from an older sibling, both girls with the vaginal scars of sexual penetration, and the older girl having a founded case in the social service department of Virginia.